Hi guys, Pokey Sisters here. This is Katie, and today we have a product that we have never opened before. Um, we have the Blaziken Pin Blister. We've opened the Mega Swampert one, and if I remember, I will put a link up here in the iCard, and all you have to do is click on it, and it will bring you to a new window to see that. I honestly don't remember if we got good pulls, average pulls, or nothing at all. So you guys will have to go check that out. But, trying to get into this. Alrighty, there we go. Wasn't too bad of a struggle. I usually struggle more with like the boxes, it seems. Especially the mythical collection boxes. I put a lot of glue on those. But, get all of the packs out. And of course, the amazing pin. Here is a look at the Blaziken, Mega Blaziken pin. So I would like to know if you guys like the Mega Blaziken pin better or the one we opened earlier, the Mega Swampert pin better. There is it, better in focus. So which one do you guys like better? I should have an iCard poll so you guys can vote or otherwise just leave your comment below. And let's see what sets we got here. We have uh, Breakthrough, Ancient Origins, and Primal Clash. And we will go oldest, I mean newest to oldest. Say Primal Clash for last. So we'll start here with Breakthrough. Um, I'm not really looking for anything in particular except for something out of Primal Clash. But I would take any ultra rare that the Poke Gods would like to give me. But anyways, let's see what we got in our first pack here. We have a Noibat, Pikachu, Magnemite, Snubble, Remoraid, Mewtwo Spirit Link, Cacturn, Rainbow Energy. Our reverse is a Piloswine. That is just an uncommon, but I'm sure Sarah would approve of that card. And awesome, we have an Eveltal Hollow. That looks really, really cool. Um, definitely a really cool hollow to pull grab a sleeve over here so off to a pretty awesome start hopefully we can find another thing but if not we already um got the odds with our one and three so let's just keep moving on here we have ancient origins maybe we'll get one of those crazy blisters that we pull like three things in <laughs> you never know but if not that is all right we have a Gumi. Eevee, Oddish, Combi, Inke, Curlia, Faded Town, Flareon, our reverse is a Larvesta that is just a common card, and we have a Claydol, one of our trolls from this set, but that is alright. We still have one more pack left, my favorite pack that we got in this blister pack, Primal Clash with Primal Kyogre. We could pull a Primal Kyogre Full Art. I, I don't, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's bent. Phoebus is bent. Why? Um, way to go, Pokemon. That is some great quality right there. But here is a code card for you guys. Let's, ju let's just look at this. Let's just look at this Phoebus for a sec here. Let's focus in on that, but that is terrible, okay? That is really bad. Poor Phoebus. Um, that that sucks, okay? But um, anyways, doesn't look like anything else is damaged but that Phoebus. And am I doing the card trick all wrong? No, I'm not. What am I doing? I am crazy. Okay. Well, let's continue. So we have that poorly damaged Phoebus. Uh, Slugma. Bunnelby. Lotad. Meditate. Gorbis. Bufalant. Rare candy. Ooh, our reverse is a rare electric. Love the reverse ancient traits. And a Gorbis ancient trait. So overall, this was a pretty good opening. Um, I would say we got pretty average pulls, which I am happy with. It's much better than striking out and getting nothing. But we got that awesome electric reverse rare and Eveltal hollow. And of course, we got, if I can find it, the damaged damaged Phoebus. Like, that sucks. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave it a thumbs up. 
click that subscribe button, and of course, go out and catch them all.